Back to the one, the Vader 125. I named my bike Clifford. So on today's agenda, I was doing a wheelie with no back brakes. As you can tell, my back brakes are all messed up. So every time I do a wheelie, I don't have no back brakes. I kicked it in first gear, came up. I was riding it out. Switched to second, but it jumped to third and kicked from up under me. End up breaking this little cover piece and uh, the back light. And also end up busting the bulbs. None of them work no more. So, a quick fix. We're going to do some LED red strips. We got some bolts for the wheelie bar. So we can go ahead and bolt it up. We got some degreaser for Thursday night's ride. We'll make sure I come out on a clean bike. And then we got some rust tough primer that we're going to do on the willy bar today. We go to my little paint area. This is my paint setup. Really, I mean, it's, it's nothing fancy. It gets the job done. This is the bolt up willy bar. We're going to go ahead and prime it today. Get it ready. And yeah, there's where we're at. So, let me try to set this camera up so you can get a good view of it. Now, a lot of people have been saying, how do I break my engine bolts? They never broke an engine bolt. Honestly, I don't know how you didn't break your engine bolt. If, you, if you're doing trail riding, heavy riding, the engine bolts break. I don't, think, I don't think you realize that you probably did break your bolt because you have to drop the cover that covers your front sprocket to actually get up under there and check and see if it's broke. Because the bolt on the brake side, that bolt, it will stay in, but I don't know should check it because I mean I break these bolts just curve hopping really so Yeah, the Vader 125, I mean, it's a, it's a good bet. If you don't if you don't have the money for a Honda Grom, but you still want to ride and you want gears, the the Vader 125 is perfect. I, the Honda Grom is 3800 brand new from the dealer, 3800. My bike is 1500 brand new, zero miles from the dealer, or you can finance it and it'll jump it up the two thousand and six dollars if you finance it. And yeah, I basically pay half of what y'all pay, but I'm still hitting almost the same speeds. Granted, the Honda Grom comes stock seven miles faster than the Vader 125. So I mean, seven mile difference, it's, it's really not a big deal to me because once I upgrade it, you know those seven miles ain't gonna be nothing. Now when we go out on Thursdays and ride with the group, there's a couple Kawasaki 125s that come out and you know, they're pretty fast. The Honda Groms as well are pretty fast, but at the same time, I keep up with them. They're, it's not like they gun it and leave me, no. We have to gun it and then fourth gear, they start taking off from me. A little bit. Not even a lot. A little bit. So, 